Hey everyone, um, I wanted to start off doing my makeup tutorials. And actually today is really exciting because I just purchased the White Peach Palette from Too Faced. Um, I know it's been a out a while, but I haven't actually been able to get it. I've had some other expenses I've had to take care of. So this was actually really cool to be able to do today. Um, as you can see, I pretty much... Uh, not even pretty much. I have nothing on my face. Zero things are on my face right now. So, um, obviously, you know, usually after you wash your face and such, you put your moisturizer and, um, stuff like that. So, I mean, that's on, but that's, like, it. Um, so I guess, I guess next up... I will be putting on my primer, which I have Prime Time from Bare Minerals. Um, it's a pretty good one. It's decent. It does the job. And yeah. So I'm just going to start using that. Just got to be careful because it kind of like, it takes a second to get out of the tube and then it's like all over so you kind of have to be a little careful with that but and and again a little kind of goes a long way with this stuff which is nice you know And yes, I am using my finger for that. You don't have to kind of do what you want with that. I do use beauty blenders for other things. Um, but yeah. So I have my primer on. Um, next, I'm actually, because again, it's summertime and it's hot and I don't want to put a bunch of stuff on my face. I am using a sports baby cream from Shiseido. It's tinted, it's really, but it's not like crazy. Um, also, it um, it's SPF 50, so that's good for the summertime. And it's awesome. So I really like this stuff. Um, just kind of want to shake that up. You know, I'm not trying to, like, do anything too, too heavy on the face. I mean, if there's anything you have to cover up, like, like I have this birthmark. I know it's nothing bad. It's not, like, a blemish. But you don't want to, um, you don't want to, like, cake anything on. So... This stuff is, like, nice and light and kind of helps you keep, like, that nice summery glow without, you know, doing anything bad for you. In fact, again, it's, it's like a sunscreen, too, which is awesome, especially for people like me because I do love the sun. And during the summer, I'm pretty much outside any chance I get. Except for maybe a day like today when it's like 90 degrees out because it is just too hot and muggy, especially on Long Island, you know, it's literally an island. So, you know, you have the um, humidity, which is terrible. But yeah, so I'm almost done with this guy. Actually, I'm done, like, applying it. I know, like, usually you shouldn't really apply it directly to the brush, but, you know, it's a, it is a liquid, and I don't want it, like, getting on anything or spilling all over the place. But I just like this because it's, you know, it's not 
it's tinted, but again, if you find your right shade, like, it's not crazy tinted and, um, super light. Like, I don't even have to put that much concealer here, which is awesome. Always a plus for me. I usually, I mean, I I do have to put, like, a decent amount of concealer under my eyes just because I naturally have, like, really bad dark circles. Um, I mean, I guess sometimes I could get more sleep, but to be honest, no matter how much sleep I get, I, I always just have these giant black like dark circles and again it's also bad because I have like huge eyes so you know I look like a walking Tim Burton character most of the time um which is both fun because I love Tim Burton but also like not the way you always want to walk around looking like that um concealers I mean I've used different ones I don't really care I mean and that's the way I am with most makeup, like, I do love certain brands, like Too Faced or Tarte, but, like, I don't, I don't need to have name brands. I can use pretty much anything. So I actually wanted to try out this concealer, um, because I heard it was such a good concealer that it is used to cover up tattoos, and it was really cheap. It was from Walmart. It was, like, three bucks or five bucks, and it's by Hard Candy. It's called Gla Glamouflage. And, yeah, it's it actually works really well. It is a very good concealer. Again, I don't have tattoos yet. I really want some. But I thought if it can cover tattoos, it can cover my dark circles. And if anything can cover my dark circles, well, that's just a miracle. <laughs> so, it's good stuff. Um, again, like a decent amount does come out of this, so you kind of have to be careful with that, but and sometimes I do use eyeshadow primer, but a lot of times I do just use concealer because I mean I use I use the urban decay eye like eye potion, which is great, but sometimes I just feel like the pigment actually. I mean, it stays on, but I feel like it shows up better sometimes with concealer because my eyelids are naturally a little bit red. So, I mean, I don't want to see the red. So I'm just using this nice little MAC brush. Also kind of using it to carve out the brows. You know, up here just like as a little highlight without using like a white highlight. So that's kind of something I do if I use concealer on the eye, I'll kind of like blend it up underneath the brow bone. And I know some of you might know stuff like this, but I feel like there have been times where I'm watching tutorials and while they give a good general idea, there are some people who maybe don't know quite as much about makeup. And when you speed through things, you know, People might get confused, so I just, sorry if I'm being a little slow here. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do that every single video, but I might give like a brief little explanation of certain things. Yeah, so this I got a little bit more of that. I'm just gonna try to... But yeah, um, what else? I do... I have to get my brushes. Um... I do... 
have a powder that I sometimes use more than others. Um, this one actually is discontinued. Unfortunately, I'm really sad because it's like almost gone. But um, it's the Sheer Mattifying Compact by Shiseido. Um, Shiseido is really good um, for foundation and skincare. They do have some nice, like, I, I have a really nice lipstick by them. But they're more for people, I'd say, who like things a little bit more natural looking, very neutral. They're, they don't have many, like, fun colors. They have pretty colors, but they're, they're usually not um, colors that you would talk about, like a MAC or a Tarte or Too Faced. But they are, they are very nice quality. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I just, I think they're a great line. Definitely, definitely love their skincare. I've been using it for a few years. My mom's been using it for like 30 plus years. <laughs> and she looks like 10 years younger than she is, so I mean It's really really amazing. Sorry, I'm just putting this powder kind of like on my uh concealer there because it's so much lighter. I did get I did get a little bit of a tan over the past week or so. And so I need to get it I need to get a different concealer for the summertime, but you know. I wanna be bright under the eyes. I don't want to be that bright. And again, better with the, now the shadows that you're seeing aren't quite my eyes. It's a little bit like lashes. I'm not winking at you. I'm trying to show you. Might also be the angle of the camera. But, um, yeah, if you can see that, I mean, they're much better. So that's always good. Um, and now I'm not like bright, bright white underneath my eyes. Yeah, it's still a little light, but it's not bad. Um, okay. Now again, you usually don't do, like, all of the face makeup before you do your eyes. I mean, some people do. Like, I feel like I used to do eyes first. Now, I mean, I used to do face first, but now I kind of work on the eyes a little bit. I'm using an NYX um, Precision Brow Pencil. Not that I really, I, I have pretty full eyebrows, but like a little bit on the ends maybe just to like uh, define this part a little bit more because this part is a little bit thinner than this. Like this is definitely full, but over here, you know, it could use a little bit more definition. Plus I do always use brow gel because my brows are wild, you know, I'm, I'm Greek, you know, the eyebrows, they grow. It gets a little, gets a little crazy sometimes. You know, I definitely understand, like, brows get a little crazy. And it's funny because, you know, now brows are such a big thing and everyone wants these big full brows. And I'm like, no, you really don't. Like, it's kind of a pain. I mean, you don't want them too thin. This... Yeah, so this is like a nice... Nice, happy medium there. Didn't do much. And just gotta do the gel. Because... I cannot let these do their own thing ever. There's they just have a mind of their own. And I'm running a little low on that. But again, just to keep a nice 
kind of uniform shape. I mean, eyebrows are never going to look exactly the same. And I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I don't, I don't like to do too much to them other than really tweeze or if you like getting them waxed, that's fine. Um, I think, again, a little bit of pencil to fill in is really nice. I just, I never really got into the whole thing that, you know, people are drawing on their entire eyebrow. It just, I kind of like them to look a little bit more natural. And, yeah, I think these are decent. So now, for the fun part, we have this beautiful, beautiful palette. And I'm a little obsessed. I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to go about this, but I think I might kind of mix, like, these two rows a little bit because, oh my gosh, I just stuck my whole nail into it because I'm terrible. Um, no, it's not that bad. Um, because, you know, gotta have fun. Um, and yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I actually have all of the other peach eyeshadow palettes. I don't have the whole peach line from Too Faced, but I do have all of the eyeshadow palettes. So I have the, um, the Sweet Peach, which is the first one, and the Peachy Mattes, because, um, the Sweet Peach had a lot of, like, shimmery stuff, and sometimes you just want to look a little bit more natural. This one, I think, has a nice mixture of the two, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started on the eyes. Um, I pretty much, again, I like to start with, like, a lighter color on the inner corner. Um, I'm gonna use this nice little, little peach smoothie color. Just a little bit because it's pretty pink. But yeah, it's like such a nice color. Like a very pretty light pink. Also, if you're familiar with Too Faced, a lot of their stuff is, like, food-related, and it just smells amazing. <laughs> so, I might... I'm just gonna take a little bit of anything that might be left over on this concealer brush and kind of put it in the center here, because I am going to put... Like a really sparkly, shimmery shadow, and I want it to pop. And this beautiful color is called Glistening Peach. You know what? I think. I'm trying to, like, get a feel for it. Ooh, okay. There we go. There we go. I mean, like, it's really, it's a very pretty shimmery pink. It is, in fact, glistening. So that's really cool. Um, ooh, there are so many fun colors. Um, I might be a little bit obsessed. So I'm going to use this light brown and it's called Sweet Fig which 
Also, by the way, figs, delicious. So, I'm into it. Again, another thing, if you watch any of the rest of the videos on my channel that are non-makeup, you know I love food. So. Of course, like, food and makeup, like, you know I'm gonna love Too Faced. And don't worry, I'm gonna blend stuff. I mean, I'm kind of trying to blend as I go, just going back over it with the brush, but, um... And you don't want to rub all the shadow off or anything, but you want it to, you know, have a nice transition. Um... I guess the one good thing about having eyes this large is I can just do some fun stuff with shadow. <sighs> Ooh. There are so many things I can do with this. Um, I mean, I kind of want to use that black, but maybe I'll do the purple or the purple into the black. Oh, this is just beautiful. I'm like, I'm so happy with how this is coming out. Also, as a brown-eyed person, I just love purple eyeshadow. Really makes it pop. And let's be honest, I totally understand how some brown-eyed people feel like it's, it's not easy to make them pop, you know? You feel like, oh great, I've brown, but no, they can be quite quite pretty if you know how to do it Ooh. yeah and sometimes again I like things really natural or sometimes I like to go dramatic but you know drama's always been fun to me Probably why I got into theater back in school a long time ago. This is so much fun. Okay, um. But yeah, so I do, I do like a dramatic eye. Because... I don't know. It's just fun. It is indeed fun. Yeah. And then maybe a little, like, dark brownish black kind of color on the end. Just to deepen it a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna blend it more. And then again with like a little bit of pink I'm coming in, just so I can blend this easier. Yeah. 
and like that first pink color again on the inside and now I will blend using like a lighter kind of fluffier brush you just kind of dust off anything that falls because dark shadow does tend to fall um, although I do feel like that shimmery pink could show up a little bit more just because I don't know some of it blended off a little bit So again, unless you do it directly on like a like a decent amount of concealer, like the the shimmery color isn't gonna like be crazy. But sometimes you don't want it to be. Sometimes you just want it to be like visible. You don't need you know to see your eyes from space. If you would like to though, again, just kind of put it directly on a spot of concealer. Like put the concealer on first or over whatever base color you did in the particular spot you want it in but I think this is good and of course now we have the eyeliner which is one of my favorite parts love a good wing um this is nano liner by absolute new york this isn't like a regular brand I think I got this in like a TJ Maxx or something which again you also have to be careful with stores like that because you don't know how long they've been there if they've dried out like you never know but nice fine point um, if you ever can find it somewhere else nice little uh, felt tip I'm sorry I have my, like, mirror up to my face, but, you know. When you are doing your eyes, you really need to be able to see what you're doing. And there you have a pretty, pretty little wing. Now I just have to do the other side and pray it comes out comparable. Which, I mean, you know you try for that, but especially as a lefty working on the opposite side of the face, it's not always easy. I mean, if you want to do lashes, you can do lashes. Lashes are fun for me. I just also am always terrified that I'm going to, like, rip a lash out or something. Because that would be my luck. is a cool little oh it actually came out pretty good so that's exciting um <laughs> I always get nervous with that just you know habit um okay so the mascara I'm using is from Tarte it's called gifted it's like the Amazonian clay line I want to say um I got it with this cool bag that my mom got me um for Easter, she got me the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette, which is also amazing. I'll probably do 
some sort of video with that. Um, but yeah, this is the good mascara. I really like it. Cute little brush. Nothing super fancy. Um, sometimes I like to put a little bit of mascara on top of the lashes first. Because then when you go to do the other side, like it just molds pretty well. Oh yeah, other reason I don't really always do lashes is just because... Aside from being... Like, part of the reason I'm afraid I'll, you know, accidentally rip them out is because sometimes they're not that much longer than my actual lashes, which... Yes, is a little bit of a brag, but no. Honestly, like, it, it's, a gen it's a genuine concern that I have that I will one day... like mix up which lashes are which and I just they're fun I'll do them sometimes but it's not something I want to constantly be in fear of so I'm sorry, I'm like trying. I would do two coats, but I think I might scare people. <laughs> um. Sometimes I do two coats. I remember, like, when I was younger, I was like, yes, the longer and blacker the lashes, the better. But it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. I'm done with my eyes. And it's really exciting. Um... Now for, I guess, the rest of my face. I'm not doing, like, a crazy amount, again, because I have, like, that tinted stuff on my face. The sunscreen. And I really don't want to go crazy with anything. But, like, just a little bit of contour. I'm using the... One... Sorry. I'm, um, I'm using the Tardiest Pro Glow Palette. And it's amazing. It's really cool. It has, um... Like, two bronzers, one's cream, one's powder, and then, like, four different shades of highlight, which is pretty amazing. I know I'm smudging the mirror, but it's okay. I usually don't use that mirror. Um, yeah. So, again, usually for that, you know, you go from, like, right over here underneath your cheekbone. might do a little bit on the nose if you're trying to make your nose look thinner which I mean my nose isn't that bad but still and a little bit like on your forehead to just shape And a lot of times to blend that, I will use the brush that I use for my regular shade face powder. Just because I feel like it helps blend a little better.
Um, and then... As far as highlighter, I'm... I don't know. I feel like it's not really necessary right now, but... I guess if we're gonna do this, we can do like a little bit. And I'm gonna go with the pink-ish color that's called Lit. Which I'm like, ha. Huh. Okay. So... Alright, I'm like, I might as well go for it. A little bit on my nose. Another thing where a little bit goes a long way. You don't really need to go super crazy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need to be seen from space today, so. Not a crazy amount of highlighter. And again, it's summertime. You don't want your face to be, like, too heavy with a bunch of stuff all over. Um, if you're really not doing, like, any powder, like, you don't have to conceal anything or you don't, you know... Um, I like to use a cream blush because it's a little bit more natural looking than the powder. This one is the Clinique Chubby Stick and the color, the color is Amped Up Apple. So, pretty nice color, but I guess for like, just a light little warm, like, warmth added to, you know, my cheeks. I'm going to be using, um, this NARS blush in the color of Orgasm, of all names, but yeah, no, it's actually a really nice color. And this one is teeny tiny, um, because it was actually a free gift that I got for my birthday from Ulta for being a member. So, thanks, Ulta. Um, and again, I don't do a whole lot of blush because I just, I don't want to look all that red. But like I said, just a little bit of warmth to the cheeks. So that's, that's 